Welcome back to Cosplay Engineering. I'm Suzanne, a hobbit who cosplays crafts and codes. For the month of June, I'm building a gender swap howl with a robotic calcifer. In this section, we're going to be talking about props, specifically that robotic calcifer. Props are a fun topic for cosplay because you can do them in a variety of different ways and there are a bunch of great resources out there. They can be made out of paper, they can be made out of foam, or plastic, or the materials list goes on and on. They can do absolutely nothing, or they can light up. Or you can be an overachiever like me and build a robot that moves and talks for your prop. So here's what I did. I started with the eyes because they came from an amazing tutorial on Adafruit by Phil Burgess. The instructions are easy to follow and the code is all there for you to get his standard eyes. You can easily customize them for your needs. Mine just needed to be all black. From there, I moved on to the mouth. It's generally a good idea when working with electronics and code to break it into its smallest pieces. I started by making the LED matrix make a mouth. Then I moved on to making that mouth respond to the push of a button. Finally, making the mouth move in sequence like it did, does in the movie. I used graph paper to figure out my shapes because the images are created in binary and it was hard for me to see the image in zeros and ones. I scanned in the pictures and put them on the clips to check that they worked. Then, once I got the mouth sequence right, it was time for sound. The sound is generated through Adafruit's wave shield which reads WAV files off of an SD card. I ran into a lot of bumps in the road in order to get this to work, but it finally did. The plan is to move all these pieces into a 3D printed body, but it did not show up in time for this video. However, body or not, it does everything I said I wanted to do. It talks with a moving mouth and moving eyes. As for my Friday fails, I, this was the first time that I did this much soldering and soldered several of the pens on the wrong side. Make sure when you are soldering anything to read the directions thoroughly, unless you're good at desoldering, which I'm not. So that's it for this week's Cosplay Engineering. Tune in next week for my magical magnetic coat. And when the calcifer body does show up, I will do a follow-up video that talks about my paint and styling for it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at A Crafty Hobbit. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so by clicking the cute calcifer icon in the corner.